Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Sebastian Vettel is getting back behind the wheel of a rebel, Mercedes have spoken about rebel's flaw, and George Russell has made a new statement. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So let's start with Sebastian Vettel, who will be back behind the wheel of a rebel later this year at the Nürburgring. Vettel won four world championships with the team and is highly regarded at Red Bull. Even though he left them to drive for Ferrari and then Aston Martin, it looks like Red Bull are more than happy to get him back in one of their cars now he's retired from the sport. And the team say he'll be getting behind the wheel of the RB7, the car in which Vettel won the 2011 world championship. And for me this is great to see. I think most of us wanted to see some kind of reunion since Vettel retired and I think it's a really nice gesture of Red Bull to let Vettel back behind the wheel of a car he was so successful in. And on top of that, Red Bull reserve driver Daniel Ricciardo will also be joining Vettel in the RB8 and it'll be nice to see the two former teammates driving together again. But let's move on to Mercedes, where team boss Toto Wolff has said the engineering team aren't convinced about the aesthetics of Red Bull's floor. As we know Sergio Perez crashed in qualifying for the Monaco Grand Prix, and in turn this meant his car had to be lifted off the ground for it to be moved. This meant everyone got a chance to see the underside of the car, and an opportunity to discover how the team may be producing so much downforce in this new era of ground effect cars. But while Mercedes are looking at the floor, Wolf has admitted that the aesthetics aren't pleasing. He added, that floor is certainly very fast. I asked a question about the complexity of it into my engineering group and they said there are interesting things they can analyse as part of the airflow functions, but they weren't convinced about the beauty, the aesthetics of the flow, and just how it functions. Now for me, I do feel seeing the floor can help teams, but at the same time, I think Red Bull are likely to continue developing the floor, which means even if rival teams did figure out how to implement such a design, they'll still be one step behind as Red Bull will have moved on. So I think Mercedes are right to be a bit cautious when analysing the floor, but at the same time, it's important they and other teams are looking closely because it could provide inspiration to come up with a unique idea for their own floor, which could help teams find more pace. But let's move on to George Russell, who's made a claim about some other drivers on the grid. Basically, he said three unnamed drivers don't have the spatial awareness of others when racing wheel to wheel. He added, There are maybe three drivers on the grid who you wouldn't feel comfortable going against. There's a trust between most of the drivers, I don't think those three unnamed drivers have the spatial awareness of others. Now even though Russell hasn't named the drivers, for me that's quite a statement to make. I mean while there's no doubt Russell is such a talented driver, he's been caught up in quite a few incidents of his own. For example, he moved over on Mick Schumacher last year as he was overtaking him in Singapore and also crashed into Carlos Sainz on the opening nap of the US Grand Prix. And this year, you could see he understeered into Max Verstappen as he tried to hold it down the inside of Turn 2 in Baku, which caused Verstappen damage. But what do you think of Russell's statement? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.